Hi everyone, it's Sailor Mimsy. Today's video, I'm going to be trying out something new. I've never done this before. It says Scritch Scratch on top. I got it from the dollar store. It was $1.50. And so you, it says here on the bottom, scrape away the picture to reveal the golden engraving. And I'm hoping that means that it's the bears that I'll be, that'll be the finished product. On the back there's an example with a butterfly. This isn't something new, but it's new to me. I've never tried it. I've seen them in stores for like a long time and I've always wanted to try it. My mother-in-law actually has done a, a few of these scratch things before and they looked really cool. I mentioned in my previous video, I think it was, that I used to work in an engraving shop. It wasn't by hand, like we didn't have any tools or anything to engrave by hand, it was all by machine. So I'm very curious to see what this will be like. I bought this a little while ago, maybe just over a month ago, but I wanted to do it as a treat for myself after I finished this one class that I've been doing and that ended a few days ago. So now I'm going to reward myself by trying this out. So on the bottom you can see here that there's a there's a little scratching tool. And it says here it's for ages zero to th wait, not allowed for ages zero to three actually. I'm just gonna read over the instructions to make sure I, I get this. Okay, so it's actually a practice piece. So you can practice using the little scraper tool. And also, they include in a paper or something so that your work surface stays clean. That's pretty considerate of them. Ooh, it is bears. Look at that. It's already pretty. Why don't I just keep it like that? I don't have to scratch. It's done. Having some difficulties getting the scratcher tool out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's good. They have a little guard thingy on the tip so you don't hurt yourself. It's like a little, looks like a little scalpel type thing. A scooper? I don't know. Okay. Let's open this up. see this practice paper they speak of. Maybe they mean the box? Yeah, keep a clean work surface by keeping the enclosed sheet of paper underneath your hands. This will prevent greasy finger marks appearing on the black surface. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have put lotion on. Damn. That's one of the things I don't like about matte or I guess flat colored surfaces because then when you wear lotion then you'll have like your fingerprints all over it. Or even just like regular greasy fingerprints will show up on it. Okay, well I'm just gonna disassemble this box and use that as my... No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Under your hands, okay. Yeah, so we just need something to keep under our hands. Maybe I'll use this plastic that it was wrapped in. I think this is supposed to be the practice piece, yeah. Does it come off? Let's practice. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the picture and see how the person's holding it. Oh, so you can hold it in different ways. By the looks of it. Oh, okay. So the broad strokes are created by using the scraper. Textures and stipples are created by using the point. Okay, so here's a broad stroke. Woo! Nope, that didn't work. Is this really the practice piece? Oh my gosh, you have to go so hard. Oh, that's pretty. Broad strokes are hard to do. They don't look as nice. Maybe I'll just do the whole thing with the scraper. That'll take a long time. Here's how that looks. Parts that I did with the tip are a lot nicer looking. Actually, I'm not going to use the plastic as the hand rest. I'm just going to use this thing. OK, 
Okay, here we go. Where should I start? Mm. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll just start in the corner. No, wait. We'll go from top to bottom. I wonder how long this will take me. Making sure that I cover the whole picture so I don't end up with like a freaking arm print on this. Ugh, I kind of don't like that sound it's making. This is actually a lot easier to scrape than that practice piece. So now I'm going unnecessarily hard. Look at me go like a pro. <laughs> I'm gonna get a garbage actually so I can dust off. Because the scrapey poopies are gonna get everywhere if I don't get them in the garbage right away. You can kind of see it's like a gold leaf. It's very shiny. So that'll look nice when it's done. Yeah, there were other different, like there were different prints at the store, but I went with the bears because it was the cutest. And you know, I like my bears. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you guys sit and watch this whole scraping thing go down. So it'll be fast forwarded and I'm gonna turn on some music. So I was trying to experiment and see because like you guys know how there's like the black detailing there, the part that you don't scratch. I don't know if you can see right there, there. So I was trying to scratch through that, like parts of it to see if I could actually scratch it off and screw up my scratch, my scratching progress here. But it looks like, well from what I can tell, that you can't scratch through it. So it's like a... I want to say it's foolproof, but maybe, maybe I didn't scratch hard enough. I'm just dusting it off. Yeah, so it looks like you're, you can't scratch through some of that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to wipe my desk down after I'm done this. But look how cool and I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, it looks different on the camera, but like the the scratch strokes look really neat. Like they're super shiny. Maybe I can go closer. Is that even doing anything? I think my camera is being reflected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not foolproof actually. I scraped through. I forget where to test it out some more. And I was able to scratch some of the stuff I wasn't supposed to scratch off. I know this sounds silly. But one of the things that I miss from my old job of engraving is you'd have to watch the engraver and you know they'd be like metal metal poopies or whatever material you're engraving that get carved out and you have to use like a brush to brush it away. And it was oddly satisfying to do that. And just doing it right now makes me miss it a little. The whole engraving part was fun. It's just the thing that I didn't like about it was um, I guess like the staffing and the hours. They usually only gave enough hours to like have one or two people working at the most on weekdays so that really sucked. Well two people but then at like usually one person at a time would be working so as soon as one person got in 
the other person was off for the day. And that kind of sucked. Alright, so I had to unload my memory card and I just continued on for a little bit. So now I'm done part of this little bear's face and I have to do just the massive paw here from the big bear and then this other bear and then just the bottom part. So we're almost done. Alright, I'm going to switch over to this. It's just an envelope that I'm going into recycling just because that glare on the other thing was bugging me. Alright, so it looks like we're all done here. Oh, hopefully you guys can see it. It turned out really cool. This bear right here makes me think of Sadie. That's a very Sadie pose. So you gotta watch, because like I said, it's not foolproof. <laughs> you can scratch off anything. Oh, I see some parts that I missed. So as the last bit, I'm just going to I'm just going to date it and I'll add a little bit of personalization to it. Hopefully, I can. There. And having this thing is very handy dandy here. I'm going to be doing this I got this from Target when it was in Canada still so. Alright, so this is what I added into the corner Just a little anchor and November 2016 abbreviated I want to say this is probably eight and a half by 11, no, 12 probably, it looks really long, but um, probably going to frame this and it'll be going up on a wall. It's cute. I'm really happy with the bears. But yeah, so like the, the package said it's not good for ages zero to three, obviously because there's sharp parts and like there's those scratchy poopy things that come off. But I don't think a four-year-old could do this. Like they probably could, but it won't be it won't be easy for them because I had a hard time doing it. Like staying within the lines or whatever and making sure you scratch all the all the parts that you're supposed to. Like I could see there's a whole bunch of parts that I missed. It's like some bits up there. But yeah, I thought it was fine. It was a good way to I don't want to say past time, because I was watching, actually, I had some Netflix going while doing this. But yeah, it was pretty fun. I don't know if I'd do it again, just because I didn't really like the other designs that they had at the store. I wonder if the camera is showing how shiny it is. It's really cool. So yeah, now we got to find a frame for it. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, or anything like that, just leave it in the comment section below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.